Do do do. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to ride, but today is 50 degrees. It's pretty nice out. I know yesterday when it was like 20 something degrees, I was completely warm. I got a whole setup where I don't wear any heated gear, but if I'm not riding, I'm almost sweating. <laughs> I'm wearing that many layers of clothes. It's like ridiculous. I feel like the Michelin man. But uh, everything's going good. I can't wait to get like uh, Thanksgiving coming up soon. I have four days off. I'll be really excited about that. And uh, I don't know when I'm gonna actually put up my bike. The way I am right, feeling when I'm riding, I am completely warm. So I don't know if I'll, I'm gonna keep riding all year round. I'm dressed warm enough for it. So, <laughs> oh man, I'm going out right now to grocery store. I gotta get gas first, but I gotta go to a grocery store and. Uh, get some stuff for Cassie to finish up this crab soup she's making. I'm recording a video on that, what she's doing, and some new methods that she's trying. And they seem to work out really well. So I'll have that video up. Man, today is beautiful. Not windy, just a little chill in the air. Let me crack this visor a little bit. Oh, I can't do it. Nope, I'm going. But yeah, I feel real good riding my bike. So, I'll probably keep doing it all year around, maybe. And just paint my bike when it gets to the actual right temperature. I was going to buy these little portable heaters and put them inside the shed where I was going to work. So that way I can paint my bike when it's cold like that. And because there's little heaters, it's a little... Sh uh, the shed's big enough for me to do all my work. And the heaters will be able to heat up the whole thing if I let it run for a day or something like that it'll definitely be able to be hot enough in there to be able to paint my bike so I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm never gonna get this video done <laughs> all right yesterday first time I've ever riding out of gas I was on my way to work uh, I forgot my lunch <laughs> and then I was like shit and as soon as I thought about that I ran out of gas my bike started acting funny I pulled over the side of the road and that was it so uh, yeah now the Cassie I called her and I called my boss tell him I'm gonna be late because I ran out of gas and he laughed and then um, Cassie she uh, after I called her she <laughs> had to get up out of bed she it was her day off and it would fucking suck getting up early in the morning your day off and you had to get somebody gas and she got me gas. Luckily, I was close to home, and she knew exactly where it was. And uh, yeah, that that was that sucked. <laughs> that felt really bad for her. And but she let, like God, I got a woman like her to, to do that for me because she knows I would do it for her. So and uh, she just ran, got me gas, came to, back to me, and freaking I filled up my bike, and it was off, and it was good. So I just. Usually I could run for 200 miles on this bike, but I don't know if it's because of the colder temperature, it has to run harder, or it has something to do. Uh, usually, now it's colder, when I start up my bike, I let it warm up a little bit. It probably burned off enough gas to, uh, every time I start it and let it run for like 10 minutes, it burns off that much gas where it can't get up to 200 miles anymore. <laughs> it got up to 189, and that was it. So hopefully, I can make it to this gas station because yesterday I got off work, went straight home because of how dark it was, and plus I was tired. I was like, I'll fill it up today, with, well, tomorrow, which is today. And freaking, yeah, I uh, just hopefully I can make it to this gas station up here, wah wah, and uh, get some gas.